What up? Um, I'm super excited to launch this new um, leadership development. Um, I guess you can say idea slash program strategy, whatever you want to call it. But uh, the Spirit of the Lord is definitely giving me a title for it, and it, the whole structure and uh, basically the basic principles behind this whole uh, journey to basically cultivate and train and to help uh, specific leaders that God chooses to uh, cultivate such a, a special, unique ability and a special, unique anointing and presence that God wants to shower over them and to bring forth in their lives. So uh, it's called Awaken. And uh, basically the meaning comes behind uh, being in a generation where people are dormant and very unconscious to um, everything that has to do with God and, and basically being um, born into this era of deception and, and commercialism and to uh, having identities that are so beyond um, the, the distance of reality that, these, that young people are now being birthed into not knowing who they are. And, and, and being birthed into uh, not knowing what God has for them and being so um, deprived of, of God having the ability to show them who he is. And so uh, Awaken is basically opening the eyes of our young generation to lead them into uh, the perspective of God speaking and knowing and, and drawing near to them so that they can have their own experience and be able to transform our future by how God shows up to who he is to them. And basically taking what is revealed to them and breathing it and birthing it and expounding upon it and investing it into the future of our world. And so I'm really excited about this idea. And basically the three principles that God has given me to um, help teach and to instruct and to seed into uh, the chosen leaders that God has laid upon my heart is reveal. Basically revealing is coming to uh, the, the identity and consciousness of waking up to who you are, where you are in your life, and, and to, to knowing like the things that you're missing and the things that you have. And I feel like a lot of uh, young people in this day and age have no idea what they are capable of and the things that they're not capable of. And so you have all these people trying to journey and dream and chase after and pursue things that have so much meaningless value to their lives because it doesn't pertain to what God has created in them. And so basically, if we can wake pe these these young people up that, that God has called with such uh, great um, purpose and, and such great journeys and destinations ahead of them, uh, if we can wake them up to the revelation of what God has in them, then uh, that's a start to leading them forward to where God wants them to be. Uh, the second principle is research. Everybody has to go through a process where you have to begin to have the discretion of the experiences of life and be able to to kind of ask God, why did this happen to me? And what are you doing with what has happened to me to make me who I am? And what God does is he takes circumstances and experiences and begins to see in his truth and see in his presence, how he has always been there along to be able to shape and mold us into the people that he has created from his original intent and master plan. And so basically when we allow ourselves to have the understanding and the wisdom and the revelation and truth that justifies that everything and every detail in our life has mattered to God and for him to explain and to give us that closure and the understanding of why he allowed it to happen to be able to uh, clothe us into the people that he wants us to be. And so I love it when God is, is able to um, affect our present and change our future and, and restore the past all in one revelation when God delivers us and God allows us to show us why that happened and why his grace was sufficient into that area of our lives. And just basically coming to the truth of the things that we deal with whenever it comes to sin issues, whenever it comes to uh, struggles and defeats and insecurities and all the emotional things that we keep bound up and things that we have no control over. And it's really just coming to the point where we get to discover who we are through this research uh, mentality and this research experience. And, and the greatest thing that you could ever do was to discover the reality of who you are because everything that you do from that point, you are able to judge whether or not if that's you and if that's somebody that's impersonating a falsehood of everything that you're not supposed to be. And I feel like that's the biggest bulk of why our young people are so behind when it comes to the progression of normal things in life. And so I really believe that when we begin to speak forth over our young people, that they can discover 
who they are and their personality and their ability and their faith in their their purpose and possibilities man i'm telling you we can breathe such a mighty mighty future with our kids if we can just let them know um what is within them and how they can find it to use it for the greater good and um the last one is remain i feel like a lot of people get to this point where they have uh the acknowledgement of who they are and god begins to show them and they begin to do the research process and they get it and God just affirms and he begins to cultivate and he begins to launch. And the greatest failure and greatest falling that we have had since the beginning of mankind is that we don't know how to maintain what God has perfected in us. And so basically the remain principle is to teach kids and to teach leaders on how to be able to properly take care of the responsibilities of their life that every decision they make doesn't just affect them it affects the people around them the influences around them and how they are a mediated leader in every atmosphere that they walk in in every room that they step foot in even if they're not speaking they're still ahead of the front and they're still being an influence even though people may not seem like they're paying attention and if we can build this awareness and build this this accountability and this support system where kids can be able to have a foundation of stability in the things that they're called to do so that they know when they get to this pinnacle where God has launched them into doing the great things that he's called to change the world and to be the difference that we have to pass down and put into their hands and responsibilities when they begin to be uh, the leaders and front runners and politicians and offices and and when everything is in their control and hands, how do they take care of it? And how do they continue to cultivate it to be able to evolve it into something better? And so basically out of those three principles, reveal, research, and remain, uh, I believe that God is definitely going to, to build such an, such an intimate and such an in-depth uh, quality of, of just uh, being a leader. And, and using those principles to bring out uh, all the things that he has planted within us to be a people that are separated, to be a people and, and to be leaders that can walk into any area, to any platform, into any circumstance, any environment, whether people believe in God or not, and show that God is real through what he has breathed in us. So I'm really excited for this. So you guys let me know, pray about it, take your time. Uh, my launch date is is in February. And, uh, and, and I'm really excited for you guys. I'm on a seven day fast right now. I'm on my third day going into my fourth tomorrow. And I'm praying for each and every one of you. Uh, send me prayer requests. Let me know if there's anything that I could do to help you uh, find out if God has called you to this or not. And, uh, and I'm always here. So I just thank you guys for the relationship you've built with me. And, uh, and it's okay if this is not for you. Uh, let me know. And, uh, and I'm still willing to pray with you to help God show you where your next step is, where your next move is for his purpose. And, uh, and I just love you guys so much. So I'm praying for you. Stay encouraged. And, uh, and I'll be sending you a video soon. All right, peace.